Indy here. Today we're going to look at using different AI tools to rapidly create content and get that into the right learner's hands. And I say hands, I could mean their desktop or their phone. So use case is a large company compliance kind of document. How do we turn that into micro learning, I suppose, which is relevant for the right person? First of all, take the document, crunch that through ChatGPT. Um, and I've been using the prompt something like, write me a voiceover reduced by 50%. So tying around with that as the prompts gets me a script, which is about 80% right, then I might have to tweak it a little bit. Bring the script into Synthesia. Synthesia then can be used to generate my first avatar presenting that short script, maybe about 30 seconds long. I'm doing that on a chroma key background, so that will allow me to do a lot more uh, in the edit afterwards. But anyway, I bring the Synthesia created English script and avatar presenting it into the platform. And this is where it gets interesting. Synthesia doesn't do translation yet. I'm sure it'll come. Um, so what we need to do is utilize the transcription and translation capabilities of Luma 1 to produce a new script. So say I want to take that avatar from an English presenter through to, I don't know, a Vietnamese presenter. I translate in Luma 1 and then I download a text script of the translation, bring that into Synthesia, you're keeping up, and hey presto, I can then generate either the same avatar or better still, a new avatar presenting that script. I can then rinse and repeat that process effectively as many times as I want. You know, there's 40 odd languages in Luma 1, but I did it 20 times. So then we have 20 versions of, let's say, a specific part of that compliance document. How do we get the right person to the right script that they need to see? For example, so does a truck driver need to understand the same piece of compliance content as someone working in an office? Chances are no. So we can use the prescriptive part of Luma 1 to create a pretest, which will mean that I can get the truck driver or office worker to the piece of compliance content that is relevant for them. And of course, if I've made the video twice, once for mobile and once for desktop, then the truck driver, who probably doesn't ever see a, a screen on behalf of the company, can see the content on her phone and the office worker can see the content on his or her desktop. So we can get all this content to the right person on the right device. And because of the work we've done with the localization, it can be presented by an avatar, which is kind of familiar. And obviously the, the kind of classic one really is um, a woman with a headdress. So if you're dealing with, let's say a large Muslim uh, country like Indonesia, then you might want to have the content presented by uh, an Indonesian looking avatar who's wearing a headdress. And of course you can do all that at Synthesia. So ultimately what it means is a very custom built experience. And that's not just the video, it's the access to the video through prescriptive. And then it's potentially use of adaptive to check knowledge, but we don't necessarily have to do that. We might just want to say they've watched the content, that's enough. You have to watch it again in a year's time. That's normally the way it goes, right? But the insight is, wow just blending those different AI tools, chat, Synthesia, and Luma 1 for translation, transcription, and of course the knowledge checks if we want to, and of course the assessment if we want to. Blending that allows me to make content really quickly, but it's really relevant. I hope you found that insightful.